What's up guys? It is Kenneth91619. Today I got the newest technology in wireless technology, which makes absolutely no sense, so I'll, re I'll rephrase that. I have the newest Wi-Fi technology here, the 802.11ac, which is going to be the new standard after having end being you know the top of the line the AC is gonna kill it to so being three times as fast or claiming to be three times as fast I have yet to test the, uh, these two products out uh, on the right side I have the Nighthawk AC 1900 smart Wi-Fi router it has a 1 gigahertz dual processor inside and uh, obviously try antennas there and basically it's a new way to connect to your devices uh, it's the AC and they got something called the beam which I'll cover in a second and the product to the left is going to be a USB receiver or uh, yeah USB receiver or mini adapter um, which um, obviously collects the data in the AC format versus the N um, I did do a previous video of the unboxing of the Rosewell which I will <laughs> obviously now replace because of this new product but it's just an $18 product so I could just hand it away to you know a friend a brother whatever but uh, taking a closer look, you can see on the back side here, we have um, some little advertisements for the Nighthawk. Um, accelerate your Wi-Fi for gaming for the win. Uh, extreme Wi-Fi speed for gaming up to 1900 um, megabits per second. Um, like I mentioned before, the dual core, one gigahertz processor, boots, wireless, and wired WAN to LAN performance automatic prior <laughs> prioritization for Xbox One and 360 gaming so basically it distinguishes what is using the most internet uh, the, what is downloading the most uh, packets and makes that the priority so if you're gaming obviously the wire the wire the Wi-Fi uh, router is going to figure that out and get to prioritize that immediately and you have extreme range with high power amplifiers and external antennas for best connectivity and like I mentioned before that beam forming is for improved Wi-Fi range and performance and you also have HD streaming as well you can stream anything in HD Netflix YouTube Amazon what else do you got there you can let's pull this up a bit closer here there you have it streaming USB 3.0 for 10 times faster access to your stored media if this would just focus and you got free backups all that good stuff and you got mobile up to 10 hundred percent faster beam forming now this is what we're trying to cover here guys alright so beam forming is what we were talking about it boosts speed and range for the newest 802.11 AC Wi-Fi devices like the MacBook Air and a Samsung Galaxy S4 which already have um, these forms of connectivity already installed inside them you get high powered amplifiers and external antennas blah 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 so forth so basically this beam form what it does instead of your router emitting a, a perfect signal in a, cir in a you know, perfect circle outward you know projecting the Wi-Fi signal in random directions and hoping that your device picks it up what it what beamform does it finds and tracks your device and basically beams the Wi-Fi straight to the device versus just shooting it out randomly and uh, this router came about um, it was basically created to uh, accommodate multiple devices because that's kinda like the growing thing you know you have your laptop, your desktop, your smart TV, you got your cell phone, your tablet, I mean there's all these devices so this router is built to you know withstand the crap to the devices connected to it so that's the good thing about uh, Beamform, I'm yet to try it out but I'm sure that it's gonna deliver alright moving on we're gonna like, take a look at the adapter here alright so this is the adapter the Netgear A6100 Wi-Fi mini adapter. As you can see it's got a little meter down there that shows you 
is 450 megabits per second dual band for the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 and range is really good right there as you can see the range meter and it's optimized and made for gaming and HD streaming as well as email and all that easy stuff it's got your beam form in the corner showing you the devices it connects to so for this you're obviously going to need an AC router without the AC router there's no way you can connect this thing unless it does backwards compatibility oh never mind I take that back it says it right there it can work where is it it works with A, B, G, N and AC Wi-Fi routers alright then that's a good thing then so you don't need an AC router specifically for this device well then we're gonna unbox these bad boys starting with the router first alrighty then taking a closer look inside you have your manual here alright focus this installation guide manual and all the paperwork in there and then you have the actual device take a look at that in a second have your three antennas one, one ethernet cable and your power adapter alright taking a look at this device you can see why they call it the Nighthawk this thing looks to be honest with you it looks like an ASUS product like my laptop over there it's very stealth like it looks like an ASUS product which is kinda odd coming from neck here usually their, their routers look very modern and sleek they got round corners like a plastic bezel clear plastic bezel but um, this looks like probably from ASUS which is kinda odd but we're gonna take a closer look at this. Right, looking at the top from up close it appears to be the power indicator there and it appears to look like an internet indicator 2.4 and 5 gigahertz indicators and your USB <coughs> port lights <coughs> and these are going to be your Ethernet LAN cables your Wi-Fi signal perhaps and your WEP one button touch technology looking at the front you have one USB 3.0 port looking at the left side you have ventilation as well as the right side and when we move on to the back here you have your power plug-in your power button USB 2.0 your Ethernet plug-in um, your four LAN reset button and your three connection plate uh, three connections for your antennas there as well as some ventilation right below that all in all this product is really sleek and sexy looking so I really really do like that a lot so moving on to the Wi-Fi mini Wi-Fi adapter so inside the box you had your installation guide and your CD as well as your mini adapter and first thing you would notice is when you open this box is you get stop run the installation CD first before continuing or connecting this device and that would probably be the smartest thing to do is definitely install that first because you don't want any problems with this so I would definitely listen to the red sticker I mean that is basically it this thing is a little tiny little adapter Little, obviously a little bigger than your Logitech Uni device adapter but it's still small enough to definitely fit in the back or the front of any computer case desktop laptop is going to be a little awkward but not too bad I don't think and uh, that will basically conclude the unboxing and first look for the Netgear Nighthawk and the a6100 mini adapter. Alright guys, peace.